Today we're integrating Jira and Git with test ops and showing you how to sync execution data with your user stories and defects. So first we'll set up the integrations, create some test data and show how to link that test data to releases and the different items that are now going to be populated in the Catalan reporting. So from the main dashboard, there's two ways we can go about it. We can either enable the Jira integration on the main dashboard or we can uh, click the configuration page from anywhere within test ops. I'm going to click the configuration page because that's how we do all of the configurations and integrations. So from configurations, we'll go to integrations. And from the drop down list, we'll go ahead and click uh, Jira. Uh, now, Jira is two step process. First step is to add the plugin from the Atlassian marketplace into our Jira site. because This is a bi directional sync. So we'll pick the site that we want to install this plugin in. You will need admin privileges and then just click install app. It's already been installed. It's actually going to pop up with a, an item here. And as you see next to manage app, it says we're seeing double. So that means that this was previously installed. Uh, to configure it from the Jira side, we'll go to projects, go to our board and click project settings. Um, and then we'll go ahead and click the apps under project settings and then the Catalan settings from here. So all we need to do here is put in the user credentials, API key, and uh, sync it to the organization that's in test ops, and then click save. At this point, we're over halfway done with setting up the integrations. So we'll go back to test ops and put the Jira URL username. And uh, if you're on Jira server, it's going to be a password, and if it's on the Atlassian Cloud, then it's going to be an API key. And what we should do is just click that test connection there, make sure that it's connecting successfully, you have the right permissions, and then press save. So now that the Jira integration is going to be completed, we'll go over to integrating our uh, Git repositories. So to do that, we'll go to configurations and script repositories uh, tab here. And we're going to create a new Git script repository. Now, there are some other options here. We can create a regular script repository that's more for a manual upload, like a zip file. And there's also a sample script repository if you just need some sample data to execute tests against. For the source type, I'm going to be using GitLab, but the process is going to be very similar no matter which one you, you pick. So you'll put the repository URL there, um, the username that has the right access, and then your personal access token to sync with and go ahead and click select. There's going to be a branch branches that we can select from if you have multiple branches in there, but I'm syncing the main line and we'll give it a, a name and optionally you can also give the Git repository a description. And again, leveraging Git repos is the best practice. We want to have our test, um, test scripts, automated test scripts under uh, version control. So now we see that that's been completed. So we have that set up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the planning uh, page. And we're going to create a new release. This is going to help uh, put all of our test data and carry it over into uh, Jira. So we'll go ahead and you, if you already have Jira releases, you can click Populate Jira Releases. If you don't, you can click Create Release. The only information here is just the name for that release, the start and end dates, and then which Jira project it should be linking to. And again, if you have a Jira release, that would be the, the last option there as well. And, and again, the description field is an optional field if you want to add more data to it. So now that we have our release, we can start creating some test data. So I'm going to click the test execution page. Uh, this is going to be like a schedule view. We'll click schedule test run and give it a name. Um, the script repository here, I've already selected the correct one and what type of test we want it to run in. I'm also going to do this on the cloud environment. So I'm running it with test cloud and picking a few different um, agents to run it in. So I'm using both Windows and Linux. And I'm going to also get rid of the repeat. So I'm going to just run this once right now. And that's what I deselected there. So it's not, no longer a scheduled run. Uh, 
it's going to start running in just a moment. And we'll just click the, the healthcare regression in this case for the name of that test and link it to a release in the top right. And so healthcare app 1.0. And then we can click the ID to start linking that data to actual JIRA data. So even though the test hasn't finished running, we have the test suites. Some of the execution has been completed. So I'm going to click an arbitrary um, test case here. And right here under linked issue, we see the jury requirements. So we can type in the requirement that we want to link to. It's going to show up. And we click the link icon. And that's going to solidify that link. So we can see the status of that user story. Now for defects, I can also link that test run data to defects. So I just click the bug icon next to the, the ID of that user story. And we'll type in the Jira defect. Uh, again, click that link icon, and that's going to carry over. So now we see it in the links. So if we want to click that, it's going to go directly to contextual uh, defect here. The user can't log in. And we'll also see the linked test runs and see if it passed or failed. Um, going back to the Jira board, we can also see that user user story, and it's linked to those test cases. So that's what we'll be able to see from the Jira side. Going back into the reports and test ops, the defect list is going to start being populated now with those defects. Um, and then requirements is going to have the test run coverage be covered now. So that's going to, that's a heat map that's going to be covered. Then the traceability matrix is going to have the, the linkage between the requirements, test cases, test results, and defects. So in a little bit under eight minutes here, we're able to sync JIRA uh, and our Git repositories, create a test run, link it to releases, and see what data will now be populated from the, the different options. So thank you so much for watching. Happy testing.